get the centre of the hole, look over it, you should be able to see all that pencil mark. Yeah. Back it nice and flush, back it all up. Job the gunner. Inch is gone now. Get your inch, put it on. Just take your time with your doors because if you drill them wrong, it means you have to buy a new door. But if you do do it wrong, it's not end of the world, do you know what I mean? Just go buy a new door and do it. I don't do lots of integrated washing machines, in fact I hate them, I hate fitting them because they're a bit of a farce, but that's why every time I do them I have to refresh my memory of how to do them, but if you did them every day you should be whacking them in, but you still should take your time. But I don't do what integrated stuff, integrated wash I do integrated fridges, dishwashers, um, I, I do them like back of my hands. But washing machines, they're all they're never one same fixing because every single one's different. So you have to do it different every single time. That's why they're a the pain. But if you do it like this, you can't really get it wrong because when I put this door on, it's going to go straight on. Drilling these other holes, what we just had marked off. I'm doing it on this worktop, but I've got triple blanketed. Keep it nice and clean. Screw the old screws in it. Need the Phillips screws, different gears. You see on the plate, there's a different place for it. Them screws are a bit big for this, what they send. See how big the head is on that? Way too big. Way too big. And it just so happens I've got some smaller ones, so I use some smaller ones so that the holes count a sink. They're the holes, what the they're the screws that they've sent with that. Can you see the lip on them? It's too big. You just can't get staff, can you? Can't get nice and flush. Then we've got us level there. We'll use them for the hinge because we want a bigger screw for the hinge. I could do it with a Phillips. Just get a Phillips bit, please, please. Because they always send different size screws. Which are a pain. Pain. Why? Who invented Posies, Phillips, Clark? Why can't they just invent one screw? One screw, Phillips, P20, or P2. Four metal screws back. Keep that bit up. Hook that on the old trousers. Right, let's see if this goes on. Now this should just go on like a dream. Is that going to go on or it's not? There's only two options. <laughs> This is why I hate them. The inch sets are the pain. The 
washing machine is it? And a pen. But just a life of pain. Life of pain. Get it on. But, judging by the eye there, it looks bang on. So this here, this is where you can tweak it backwards and forth. I just want tweaking slightly. We'll send it up, always send it up first and then we'll see where we are. Oh, like a dream. Like a dream. What about that then? First time. Could just do with it moving over, just the cat's nads in. So we pull that off, just move them over. This is how we're altering it. So all we're doing is pulling it away from that side. Just pull your door like that. Because we've got the washing machine level and everything else level. So looking at that, look around your kitchen there, see if it's around about level. If it's not, I think this wants to move up and mill. Just under the hinge. Could do with a screwdriver really. But because I'm doing it on camera, I've right, moved the hinge up. I want that very slightly down. It's better. It's better. Beautiful. Equal gap all the way down. Oh, I'll tell you what that is. That's a magnet pulling out and in. In and out. In and out and out and about. So that's fine. So all I do now, I wipe that pencil mark off and that's it. Integra integrated washing machine door. Start to finish. But if I were you, I would get a normal washing machine. Save all this hassle because when that goes, that door's drilled for that. Unless you get the exact same one, the doors never fit because they keep moving the hinges. And I think they all do that because they keep making everybody in business out there. So if they move the hinge, you need to buy a door. So you've got to buy a door. If you've got a door, you need to buy a new washing machine. Now I'm going to drill that other door which with an integrated door in it and got no hinges in. So these hinges, they should be all the exact same size, top and bottom. So all I do is get me square like that, line that up with the centre, pull that on my door, and that's it. So you have to do, get your door. Get rid of this one. Check which top, that's top. Hinge is going to go on this side. Mark that, that's centre. Mark that, that's centre. So we know it's centre. Give me a little gadget. That's centre, that's how far off it wants to be. Draw around it. Centre. Uh, 
Go around it. I just like stuff to say. Mark the centre. Mark the centre. Swap your drill over and drill it. Mark your centre, drill it again. You always go deep enough, otherwise, uh, when you put your inch on, make sure it's always deep enough, otherwise, when you put your inch on, it's going to be bored. Make sure it's flat. Because this has got a pivot point on, you see. So you've got to make sure it's flat. This is originally for the door what's already drilled. Do I have them in them? What I do is I just take them off. And I do it the old fashioned way. Where we screw them in. Get my level on. Put my level. Make sure that they're square. Always drill your inch so the inch don't move. Centre. Centre. Put that other end on. Always get the centre of your Whereas when you put your put your screw on, it'll be not good. I'm using some of my own screws. So I don't have to mess about with uh, swapping all my bits. Never over tighten them. Strip them off, they can go in the thin. You don't want to be keeping a load of screws. And the door. So, just get the drill. <coughs> so it's nice and flush here, we've got it nice and flush. Beautiful. Just want a little tweak here to make it level. Pull it away. Don't worry about the noise of my drill, it's just that it's a. Uh, Just going some. Oh 